Hello and welcome back everyone. Now just come to the body section and create here a main container. Just put comment here. Start container starts from here and main container and now in between just create a, another div and give this a class because we are going to reference this class in our CSS file so this is a main wrapper the class name is a main wrapper and just close this class here now in this class just create another div and give it a class with the name mm, content underscore wrapper and close this class here and in this class create another div which is uh, give this div an ID of just say left sidebar and close this div here now create another div with the name sidebar underscore title and close this div here and put here uh, categories here div now control us to save your page and see what happened in your browser just go to your local host and you can see it is showing you the categories here now go and create a ul tag here ul and close your ul tag here and in between the ul tag just write div and give it an id sidebar underscore title and give it a name with brand close the div here and control as to save your page and just double click here to create a new page uh, which is our CSS page first of all just go to your web browser and go to Google and just find out the CSS reset code go to this first link CSS tool reset and just come here and copy all of this code from here just click control copy and go back to your page and just paste it here in your CSS file and just press control as to save this file and save in the styles folder of styles dot CSS and click save Uh, the purpose of this CSS reset code uh, I'm copying here is uh, of it actually reset the style sheet is to reduce uh, your browser inconsistencies uh, in things like default line height margins and font size of headings and so on it will uh, create a default settings of uh, these tags here so you can just copy and paste it to your program now just go here and save this page and go back to your index page now go to your CSS file and just give body color 
the background color is white and just come here and the reference of your ID is main wrapper so you give them uh, so just give style to this class main underscore wrapper here in CSS file just go and type your class main underscore wrapper and in this you can give style to your class give a height of thousand pixels and width of thousand pixels and a height of height you can say you can just give auto and margin uh, you can also give auto okay and give another class which is our content underscore wrapper come in CSS file and give this class a style content underscore wrapper give height 1124 pixels width is let's say uh, 1124 pixels and give a height to set this auto and give margin underscore top is 100 pixels just control s to save now give a left sidebar a style id is left underscore sidebar you can give a style to the id through the hash sign just put the hash sign before your class name left sidebar and give width to let's say two five two three five pixels and height is equals to auto and uh, the background is a mm, this is a color code I'm saying this is the color code you can just take this color code from uh, the website or you can find out the color code here color code you can go to this first link HTML color codes you can just pick any of the color from here it will generate the code here so you can just copy and paste it to your code use the specific color in your website just control s to save your page now just float give a float to uh, left and I'm giving padding to 62 pixels and margin top is equal to minus 177 pixels float equals to left uh, padding is I al already give padding to 62 pixels now margin top is 177 pixels now just control s to save this now go back to your index page and give the sidebar title or style now go and give your id sidebar underscore title and in this class just type background I already remember the color of uh, this code 93 and just give a height of auto and color is white and give padding to 2 pixels now font size is 28 pixel and font underscore font family 
is you can just say Palatino uh, Lino type book Antiqua. Now control S to save this and go back to your browser and refresh your page and nothing is happening here because we are not referencing this CSS file in our index page here. So just go to the head here and now give your CSS file reference here by just typing link rel is equals to style sheet href I'm actually this is I'm giving the link of my CSS file this file here in my index file so whenever I load this file to my browser it will load the CSS file with this index file here so just give your uh, CSS uh, path to this now give this styles my folder name is now go back to your folder and just see that your folder name is styles and your file name is the styles also so just go here your folder name type your folder name styles slash styles and the extension CSS here now media type is just give it all and close this file here now control s to save your file and go back to your browser and refresh your page and you can see that the categories and brands here now go back to your file here now the sidebar title we already give style to the sidebar title here now just give another ul tag here with and give id and just type cats here which is our catalog id and close your ul tag here now after the content area just type another div here div and give id to this with the name content underscore area and give another div here with the name and close the content div here after this and create another div here which is div id is equals to product underscore box and just close your ID tag here so in this product box we just fetch the data from our database uh, I will show you in our later tutorials and put the fetched data here now this is a class or this is the ID so we can just put hash before this now type content underscore area give this a padding of 10 pixels and another class is our product box and give the product box no style product product underscore box CSS and give it a style to product box the padding is 18 pixel uh, or 181 pixels giving margin underscore left is 435 pixels now margin top is minus 193 pixels now control us to save your page so that's it for this tutorial we create an uh, layout of our index and CSS file so that's it for this tutorial and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial